Hi guys, and I will be doing a um like a review on the Zebra Midliner Creative Burgers, and there's 15 of them, uh, and I found them at Walmart, and they were 16.88, and I also heard they were on sale at um Target. But I'm not completely sure because that's not where I got mine. So I'm gonna set up my station and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm good now. Um, so the markers they look like this. They're a good size. That was my knuckle. <laughs> um, so there's a bold tip. Like a chisel. Focus, please. There we go. It's like a chisel nib. And then, to find it. And, yeah. So, I'm gonna... And I have my grid here. It's really little. It's only about that big. I don't know why I made it that small. But there are 15 slots for all 15 markers. So they don't have names. They're, it's cool that they're made in Japan. Um, I guess I'll just color in the boxes. So here's this one. You guys can see that. It's a little dark. Ooh, it's a pretty color. I record half of it. There we go. Up the brightness, are you guys? There we go. That's a little better. <clears throat> so I'm going to do half of it with um, the bold tip and the other half maybe with this tip. I can still see. Ooh, this color and that gives you more. I'm gonna go in with a, like another layer of this. Oh, that's a little better. <clears throat> I still like the little tip though. So that's like a red. That's red. Try this orange color. The chisel nib. Oh, that looks really dark. I see that. Focus. Um, anyway, um, I know a lot of people say this, but I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click like button and comment down below, um, other video ideas you would like to see, because I'm kind of out of ideas at this point. So, that looks more like orange. I like that color better. And there, uh, that's it. I'm really close. But their case makes a stand. I don't want to bring you guys up. So the case makes a stand. Don't mind my messy background. I've been crafting a lot. Um, it makes a kind of stand. Oops, and I just broke it. Uh, there we go. <sighs> there. So. And I just put it. Don't fall. I just put it right there. And yeah, let's go back. Now that we're back, um, you can see that the markers don't really bleed through. And that's nice that they don't bleed through. Okay, here's this like peachy color. Let's try this. Oh, you can barely see that. Oh, on camera you can. There we go, now it's in the light. It's a really, really light color. And I forgot to mention, um, the caps, they do fit out to each other. So here's um, the fine tip cap on there. And then this one 
also fits on it. So that was your cut. And that's nice. So now I put the, you guys at a different angle. Um, that is really light, as you can tell. Never mind that. Here's <laughs> my little sister. <laughs> um, that. Here, let me show you guys. See if. Oops, sorry guys. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Too close. There, you guys see how the second one is darker than the first one? Especially in this one. It's really weird. But. Mommy, the egg machine's done. Oh, gosh, it's going to tip. Okay, whatever. Don't bump it. <clears throat> so that's that color. Um, now we're on to yellow. So if you guys can't see, that's like a brown. Oh, this is actually really pretty. Those black streaks are from the black marker rays. That's the chisel nib. Hi, Snowball. <laughs> my cat came up on the on my table. Uh, here's the this nib. It's more pigmented. Uh, this is really light. It looks like cream, but in person it's like a very very light pale green. Wait, you see the little color blob color? That may be the color of it, but I just can't read the Japanese or yeah, it's probably Japanese. It's so barely anything on the paper. You guys can kind oh, you guys can kind of see that. Very very light. Maybe you'll see it. This, those are pretty similar. They're very light. I don't, I don't blame you if you can't see that because I can't. On the paper, you can kind of see it's very very light. Um, sorry. Now we're on to this mm, uh, darker ish green. That's pretty good. I like that color. And here's this. Would you guys... Comment down below. Would you guys get these markers? Because I like them. Again. Oh, those are actually pretty similar. The, the from, one from the chisel nib is a little lighter. Okay, now we're on to this um, dark tealish blue. There, dark teal. And then six. <laughs> okay. Well, that is very light. I kind of went back and forth a little bit. That's very light. Those are such dark. There, that's... Whoa. Oopsie. <laughs> um, that's a little better. Still wobbly. I'm just gonna be very careful and not bump it. Again, that is more pigmented. Same routine. Uh, this is a mintish, minty green tail color. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's a nice, it's like a sky blue. More pigmented again. Actually, no. I would say it's about the same color, and that is, I'm going to call this Robin Dick Blue. Maybe, I'm not sure. <laughs> Teal, uh, no, sea green, kind of. Nice color. And these are a good size to uh, hold. Mm, that's really light. Those are about the same, but like more coverage, I would say. Like the chisel nib, it's streaky kind. Um, this is like a pastel color of indigo, I would say. Purpley ish blue. Oh, wait, no, that's definitely purple. Doesn't pretty match. It's a good, pretty good match. 
the little light on the lighter side. On there it looks really purple, but again, more, I shouldn't say more pigment, I should say more coverage, because that's what it is. Uh, this is, sorry, I'm not telling you, it's like a lilac color, color, sorry. It's really light. It's really nice, though. See, like, look, you can see where I put the two colors, like, my two lines together. That has, again, more coverage. And this is a more pinkish version of lilac. Uh, ooh, that's nice. I like that color. Ooh, that's really nice. I like that. Now we're on to this very, very baby pink. Oh, this light blue, I would call baby blue, might maybe. I said I would call Robin's egg blue. Baby blue and baby pink. Two, one, two of my favorite colors. Um, yeah, this looks really light. Kind of like um, that color. It might turn out like my uh, Fitbit color. Fitbit bracelet color. That's baby pink. Oh, that's really nice. I like that. It's more like neon. Anyway, um, I forget what I was saying. I went to go get something. Um, back to this. This is really vibrant. I like this color. I'm a big girly girl. So I like purples and pinks. Yeah. Um, this is gray. Light gray. There's only one gray. There's no black. But that's fine. I'm sorry. Um, it's a nice gray. Fine tip. There we go. And then, oh, last color. Oh my gosh. Uh, is this brown color? Kind of looks like maybe I could use Google Translate to find all these names, and then I can write them down on my little chart, like abbreviation. It's like a mahogany, I would say. It matches that, I guess. Yeah, might be a little more red. Does that match this? No, it doesn't. Not at all. So, with these swatches, I have this little coloring sheet that I'm going to color. And I'm going to pause it so I can color this. And when I'm done, I will see you guys in a little bit. So, here is my finished coloring page. I was neat in the beginning, and then I decided, I just want to get this over with, so then I kind of see, like, here it's bad, and then up here a little bit. So, I didn't do my best job. I bet if I took my, more time, I could have, like, here, if I, bet if, I bet if I took more time, I would be able to finish and do a good job. I just finish, but not as good as could have. So yeah, all I use um, are these markers. These are awesome. I really rec I really do recommend them. I found them at Walmart. I don't know if they have more of these, like more colors and more sets. So I'm just gonna tell you the brand again. There is Zebra Midliner Creative Mar uh, Creative Marker. Oh, they're water resistant. That's cool. I wonder if I can get one of my water water brushes and kind of do that. I don't know. Maybe I'll try that. If let me go find one. Well, I didn't find my water pens. Move that out of the way. I didn't find my water pen, but I did find a paintbrush and some water. So I'm gonna take a marker. What color? Should I choose the dark ones? You guys can see it. Okay, let's look at the chart to see what 
the color is like the darkest. You know what? I'm going to use the brown because I didn't use that all in my picture. So, yeah. Here's the brown. I'm going to chisel nib. That's really dark. Um, that's not much better, but, um, Anyway, uh, and fine tip, I'm going to scribble a little bit. Go! It's kind of, yeah, let it dry a little bit. I don't know what. <laughs> Look at my brush wet. Can you see that? It's not that interesting. I'm just getting my brush wet. Oh, whoops. I'm going to dry it off. My water brush. I wish I could find my water brush. Oh my gosh. The hair in it. Whatever. This is Ang. I'm gonna get my water. OMG. Oh, it is getting lighter. Let me try that again. Okay. Um, so that's a water spot. And up here, I'm gonna do a little bit without. Can you guys see the difference? I can. I think it got a little lighter. Just a little. Just this smidge. You know? It's actually pretty waterproof. Like if you get, like if you color an amazing picture and get soaked, just let it dry. Oh, I thought that was my marker. Oops, but it's my paintbrush. That's stupid. Um, <laughs> get this wet, not as wet, so now I'm going to do this, oh my gosh, oh it is, the water is a little brown there, you can kind of tell, but that's because I was rubbing on it, okay, let's try another spot, okay, paper, right there, it's good, I don't know why I did that. Big. Okay, I did it really wet. There. Do half of it. Actually, it doesn't get that much lighter. Just a smidge. You can kind of tell the difference. Is that really water resistant? Because I think these are. Wait, on the marker, does it say that it's water based? I don't know. It might, but I can't tell. Here, I'm going to hold this up. And anyone out there, if... Quite focus. There. If anyone of you can read that. I'm going to turn it slowly. If any of you guys can read that, comment it below. Oh, yeah, and... um. And that, comment, comment down below what that says, if you can read that. If you can, that would be awesome, really. So this does bleed a little bit, but if you just let it dry, I bet um, it will be okay. No! 